All right, so let's get to talking about the stages. Okay, we have stage one, stage two, three, and four. And each one of these kind of builds on each other. So the very base you're gonna have, which is your basic bolt-ons, is your stage one. Intake, exhaust, and a tune. Stage two, we take it up a notch. Stage two is when we put a camshaft in it, of course, with some adjustable push rods in it. And with the stage two, you get to choose from two camshafts. You have one that's primarily focused on torque, so down low, stop light, stop light. And then you have your horsepower cam, which is more on your freeway, and especially because it's gonna make more power on the mid range all the way up. Now we're getting to play with the big dogs. With the stage three, you get the big bore cylinders, or the cans as we call them. You also have drop in pistons, so you'll still have your connecting rods. We'll just yank the stock pistons off and throw these on. Cool fact is that these pistons are made by the exact same manufacturer who does some of the most awesome racing pistons in the world. The company, depending on where you're from, is either called Mala or Mali, like here in the States. And on top of that, you can get up to 24% more torque and 39% more horsepower with the stage three. Now the stage four is gonna crank this all the way up to 11. Now obviously if we're gonna have bigger heads, it's gonna be breathing in a lot more CFM, cubic feet per minute, how much air a cylinder head is able to flow. Now what we do is we take the stock throttle body off, which is 55 millimeters and put on a 64 millimeter throttle body to flow more air. Now that would mean nothing if your intake manifold behind it was small. So this one gets an aluminum intake manifold which is significantly bigger so it can move more air. You will see on this up to 50% more horsepower. So when you're ready to go from mild to wild, come to Republic Harley Davidson, talk with some of our guys in the speed shop, and they're gonna be able to steer you in the right direction. Conveniently located on the Southwest Freeway at Kirkwood.